title of the lecture is Who Am I Really? Let's welcome Sir Achara Das. Haribol Namaste, sir. Please accept our humble obeisances. Namaste and welcome. So this is going to be the first of a three-part series on the topic of finding myself. So this is a very common phrase that we hear people using, you know, really trying to find myself or I'm going to go out and find myself. And it's a, a huge question. And answering this question, who, who am I really, is fundamental to my happiness and to my well-being. So today I'll be presenting a, a spiritual perspective on, on that subject. We really actually... Mm, think of or, or seek to answer this question, who, who am I? Um, what, what am I in, in essence? So I'd like to start by um, showing you a little clip. Now, I have some friends in Europe who in the, um, have been working on a, a documentary, a multi-part documentary series where they actually explore this. And they went out on the streets of London and talked to a, a big variety of, of people, as you will see, uh, fundamentally posing this question, this very big question, who am I? So take a look. We're doing a research study on identity, and we just have one question. Yeah. Um, can you please tell me, who are you? My name is Christy. I am an American student. I'm from Colorado. My name is Zoe. I'm from Cyprus. Kathleen. Amy. <laughs> a tourist from Spain. My name is Mark. Natalie. Who am I? Well, my name's Gemma. That's who I am. I'm a um, successful, handsome French guy. I'm 82 years of age, but I'm, I feel I'm 18. All right. What else do you want to know? I want to know more than just your name. My job, where no. I live. I want to know um, your essence, who you are in essence. My essence. Yes. Yeah. Happy person. I'm a happy girl. I someone who's trying to go through life as happy as they can. A sassy, fun kind of guy who just likes to have fun and yeah. I, I see myself as quite unique, different. I'm quite energetic. Your core essence. Who are you? Not so much take away the traits, the, the culture, the family, the boyfriend, where you live, who, you know, where you're from. Take all that away and tell me, who are you? To be honest, sometimes I, I don't even know who I am. That's a really hard question. Who am I? Oh. Yes. Uh, I have no idea. You have no idea? No idea whatsoever. I don't know myself. So. You don't know? No, I don't you know. Don't know. Mm. I'm uh, a bit lost. A very small piece of the universe, that's, that's what I am. My essence is a person in the midst of a very fast technological world that is gone crazy and lost all sight of the real, of the self. Your core, your core being, who are you? <sighs> I've, I've no idea, actually that, that, that's a tough one. Uh, well, I have no idea what to say. The essence of myself. Yes. I don't know. I wasn't prepared for such a deep question. I never really think of myself too much in that way. I get on with it. Um, what is my essence? I don't know how to answer you. I really don't know. I've never considered it. I think that's a difficult question. Yeah, Does anyone have a ready answer? <laughs> Um, I don't know, no. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know, no. I don't think you ever really know who you are. I think you just go through life as a journey to find out who you are, but you never really know who you are. Now I realise I don't know who I am. Really, yeah. who I am, yeah. It's a good question. Yeah, it's a very good question. But what do you mean, like, who, who am I? Yes, who are you in essence? In essence? Yeah. 
Oh no, that's hard. That's a little bit philosophical for me, to be honest. I've never thought of it like that. Who am I? To be honest, I don't know. Your core. That's Who are such you? That's a difficult question. It is. It's a very difficult question. Yes, In essence. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's really complicated. I mean, if you asked me all this stuff when I had a drink, I'd probably answer it better. I don't know if I can say any more about it. I mean, you've kind of caught me out on that one. It's really hard. It is. It's really hard to know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really interesting to be asked such questions so you will have an idea and think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Why is this question so challenging? The reality is that we are find ourselves living a life that is based upon things that we say we know to be true. But when we are questioned deeply on the subject, then we are filled instantly with doubts. And why? Why is that? So everybody is living um, under certain assumptions that we actually refer to as truths. But when we are asked, then all of a sudden, this big question mark begins to appear. How do you identify yourself? I mean, we see in the clip when people are asked, they, their go-to is to begin to describe either their physical appearance, I am male, I am female, I am tall, short, a nationality, an ethnic extraction, an age, or a personality trait or a collection of traits. And, and this is generally how we identify ourselves. But when we're faced with a scientific reality that your body is constantly changing, I mean like really, really dramatic changes, then it's sort of like, if I take that one into consideration, then it really does undermine many of my, my assumptions. You know, every single atom within the body is going to be replaced within a maximum of five years. I mean, for the bones, which we think are very concrete and solid, in reality, they change, all the at atoms making up the bones are going to be replaced, changed within a one year, just a single year. And so when we are faced with this idea of, of changing bodies, our bodies are constantly changing. The big question is, well, could that really be us? Because in reality, our experiences that we remain the same person. We retain the same identity all throughout these changes. I want you to take a look at another clip here. Now just take your time and, and kind of look through this. If I look at still images from this time lapse. I might assume that these images are, these still images are of actually different people. But the reality is, there is only one person who is experiencing these outer or physical changes. So I am very deeply um, conditioned by ideas that are factually untrue. The most significant one of these is this idea that I am my body, that I am young, I am old, I am male or I am female, I am brown, white, black, beautiful, plain or even ugly. And this is all based on a variety of bodily labels. I'd like to just bring something to your attention. There's a, a German um, anatomist, Gunther von Hagen. And he puts on these exhibitions in museums and all around the world. And they really throw a spotlight um, on this idea, the notion of the, of the body as being the self. 
And just a little warning that some of the pictures that I am about to show you may be quite disturbing. So this is Gunther, and he's standing in front of one of his um, models. So he's developed a process of impregnating bodies with plasticizers and permanently preserving them. This allows the stripping away of skin and other outer tissue, revealing the structures underneath. So he exhibits, as I said, in museums and galleries. Um, and, and when people would come and see these, many people found them to be very startling and, and even scary. So he did something actually quite interesting. They started um, arranging these cadavers, putting them into, into uh, physical postures that we can relate to when we see a live body. And this puts people a lot more at ease. But uh, the exhibits, they reveal the true nature of the body as a very highly complex and sophisticated vehicle, which we mostly are completely of, uh, forgetful about in, in our life. So this particular picture allows us to see that there is a stark difference between a body which is showing the presence of life and one that is not. So when there is the symptom of life and the body, it is attractive. But when the person leaves, then you are left with a body which not only is no longer attractive, but in most cases it will even repulse us. Now take a look at this slide. You have a young child with a parent, an adult, and looking at the skeleton of an adult with a young child. So it's almost a reflection of what she is experiencing as being her life. And you look at her face. Um, it, or we realize how unaware we are of the nature of the body. When we look at somebody's body, we don't see the skeletal structure. We don't see the underlying tissues and muscles. We don't see that reality. We look at what we think to be a person. The body in the presence of this spiritual spark, what is called the Atma or in Sanskrit or the self, it has such a powerful influence on the body that we no longer see it for what it really is. We look at a body and we, we see a, a person. If we understand that, you know, the nature of this, from a scientific perspective, the nature of the body constantly changing, and yet the presence of a constant identity, that this, the, the life principle remains constant throughout, then we can easily agree, okay, I, I can accept this idea that the body is not who, who I am. But then if a person is questioned, okay, if you're not the body, then who are you or where are you located in this? So to take a little look at the continuation of this um, series of interviews conducted in London. Point to yourself, your essence. Where is yourself? Self. Where I am. Yes. So now I'm confused because I don't know who I am. How I gonna know where I am? Point to my finger would be here. Your mind? My mind. My mind. Yeah. Where is myself? Yeah. Wherever my head is, generally that's kind of I don't know. You know, that's where I am. As yeah. such. Your head, like your head here. Yeah. Okay. If my head is saying I'm something and I'm there and then I don't have to literally be there, but I am there in my head. You know, like. Uh, like a state of mind as such, maybe. State of mind. Okay. Point with your finger. Where yeah. would yeah. Your, eyes. your eyes. Yeah, yeah. If you're your eyes, oh, then and you eyes. lose your eyes, yeah. then, well, then I suppose you'd think, wouldn't you? But you'd still be there. But it might. I might feel like I'm alone. <laughs> but you do get a feeling of like something inside. Yeah. Uh, people think they know how perception takes place. Take visual perception, for example. They imagine that it's very straightforward. 
that light comes from objects, it enters our eyes, it goes down the visual pathways and tickles up the occipital cortex at the back of the head. And that's the sum total of vision, apart from other bits of the brain being tickled up as well. The trouble with that causal chain of events, it explains how the light gets in, but doesn't explain then how there is a gaze that looks out. So we can see with almost everyone here, um, there is this idea that somehow I must be located somewhere, perhaps in this area of the body. And people even go further to think, well, then maybe I must be the brain. And this is generally because the um, five knowledge acquiring senses, seeing, smelling, touching, tasting, is very much connected with and, and four of them at least are in this area of the body. So it would be natural for a person to come to this assumption that their their mind is is who they really are or the brain but this idea can is being challenged by people that are very expert in the in the field you take a look at this clip well some people indeed not only think that personality and consciousness is produced by the brain they think it's identical with brain activity but there are many reasons for questioning that. So I think we've got to think again about the relationship between ourselves, our brains and our bodies. And we won't even start that process of rethinking until we set aside ideas that suggest that we already know the answer, that we already know that we are our brains or we are our body. So since ancient times, the yogis would actually um practice a, a form of meditation called silent witness meditation where they would actually undertake the, just like the, the woman in the street thinking that maybe she was her eyes and then thinking about okay if your eyes were gone would you still be there and she realized yes and it, maybe I'm kind of like somewhere in the dark deep inside here they would actually meditate on certain parts of the bodies and think, okay, if my hand was removed or my arm, would I still be here? Or would part of me be missing? Would I still be complete? And not only would they have this type of meditation on, on this external garment, the body, but they would also do it in relation to the mind. They would sit back and watch the mind in action. And the purpose of this meditation is to come to the realization that actually there is a perceiver, somebody who is like the, that um, scientist referenced, you know, about we can, we can understand how light and, or information gets in, but what science has not really understood is how there is a gaze looking out. And in, in yogic terms, this was referred to as the uh, drishta or the seer. There is a, an actual seer of, of things. There is somebody observing who is looking at, at all of these things that are going on and, and evaluating and experiencing all this information that's being fed into the body. So in, in this process, um, they would come to really deeply realize that if I am going to make an effort to try and control my mind and what it's thinking, try to get it to focus on something, close my eyes, try to see that image within my what's called mind's eye, that I would be in fact um, experiencing the reality that I am separate from my mind. If I can control my mind, if I can try to make my mind focus on some work or something that I'm doing, if, I'm, if I can actually exercise my will to do that, it clearly indicates that I am different and separate from my mind. And when I do that with my body, that I am clearly different and separate from my body. When we accept the body and the mind as being the self, or we accept these other labels, bodily labels as being the self, we will experience a countless number 
of really miserable conditions. For instance, these ideas a lot of people are struggling with now, the ideas of self-worth or, or worthiness, the idea of lovableness, um, the problems that arise from being in a relationship and having an aging partner or, or, or spouse, where people then become all worried, all these insecurities. Am, am I still going to be able to keep the attention, the affection of this, of my partner or my spouse? And there are other types of things also connected with, with this bodily identification. For instance, the, or it often becomes manifest in a lack of empathy at best and even hatred for others due to perceived differences, um, sectarian ideas, um, having any kind of party spirit like in, in political identities or conflicts that arise from, from sexual identities or racial identities. You know, the myriad of these different false ideas of who I am. If I'm going to be buying into this, then it puts me in conflict with others. So I'll give you two um, practical examples of people that really suffered because of, of this condition, which I'm broadly calling bodily consciousness. The first was a um, really wonderful woman. Her name was um, Stephanie Nielsen. She was from uh, Utah in, in the United States. And she was, at the time that I'm, I'm going to speak about, she was 29 years old. And she was the mother of four really wonderful children. Um, she was an avid blogger. She, she had, um, she was really into, you know, the makeup, the look, the uh, physical appearances, the family. She really enjoyed this, the, the whole experience of, of having children and a, a really nice husband and everything. Um, then, her husband was a, a pilot and they had flown on his birthday to a friend's um, ranch some distance away. And upon the return and the trip down there, they had to stop for a refueling. And so they refueled the Cessna, this light plane. And then when they attempted to take off, they completely lost power and the plane crashed and it was fully loaded with fuel. And so it erupted in a huge ball of, of fire. And um, as people, the three, there were two, the husband and wife and a, another friend who was the actual flying instructor of the husband, as they struggled to, to um, get out of the plane, they were con burned so badly um, Stephanie was burned, uh, she had third degree of burns on 80% of, of her body. She said she could feel the skin melting and the, smell the hair burning in her struggle to, to get out of the plane. So she was rushed to a burns unit and she was put into an induced coma for, for three months so that they could attempt to, to deal with all of the um, medical conditions that she had to face and the, and the painful process of skin grafting. And her face was really badly burned, like enormously badly burned. And her children were, were of course, completely distraught. But because the husband was also being treated, Stephanie's sister took the children in. And during this time, they... Um, weren't allowed to come and, and visit the mother apart from once. So one of the things that was going to become very painful for Stephanie was her very youngest child began to referring to her sister, the aunt, as being mummy. 
So after many months of treatment, um, I think it was about five to six months of treatment, the children were finally allowed to come and, and visit. And Stephanie was absolutely petrified. For, for many weeks, she refused to look in a mirror because of, of the bad burning. And she was very concerned that the children would become very, very fearful. And so when the first child was allowed into the room, the elder daughter, who was about nine at the time, I think, or, or a bit less, um, when she saw her mother, she absolutely recoiled. She could not relate to her, could not speak to her. It was like she was looking at a monster. And she somewhat hurriedly left the room and told her brother, don't, don't go in there. But the brother did go in and similarly recoiled. And what was happening with Stephanie, it was like she's crying out inside. It's me, mummy. I'm still your mummy. It's me. I'm the same person. And what we're seeing in this situation is how the children were so deeply affected, of course, by the, just the physical, the change in the exterior that they could not relate to this being their mum, and it was, you know, still her. Um, in an interview I saw with them, the daughter, um, when asked, you know, when was it that you started to, you were able to recognize her, she it took a long time, and she was at home with the mum and talking to her, and she looked deeply into her eyes while they were talking, and it suddenly dawned on her, yeah, this is my mum. There was this recognition that was still there. So uh, Stephanie, um, she went through this quite extended period of this unbelievable pain where she wanted still to be the mother of her children. And she was, you know, completely rejected by them. And in the beginning, I mean, they were very fearful and very troubled by, by seeing her. Interestingly, um, Stephanie wrote a, another blog at one time where she said that mothers, the most important thing to, that you can teach your daughters is to teach them that they are not their bodies. I mean, she had had that realization of, of the pain that comes and the difficulties that come for people when they are overly absorbed only in this exterior thing, thinking it to be who, who we actually are. So in the second example I want to give, which is kind of like really quite different, it's about a, a famous model. Her name was um, Kate Upton. And she sort of really burst onto the the scene um, in the in the mid or or around about 2011, 2011, 2012. She started um, doing things, you know, YouTube videos, and people really, you know, she got people's attention. Uh, she was a particularly curvaceous. Her body was very curvaceous and voluptuous and and she was very pleasant looking person very attractive and in one interview when she was being interviewed she was quite forthright in saying that ever since she was a a young girl that she really prayed every day for this particular body to have this type of breasts and to have this very voluptuous and curvy body and it was like this is something that she had wanted all, all her life. So, um, of course, you know, there's going to be no doubts about it, that if you're so invested in the external appearance, then, um, you know, this misidentification of the body as being the self, who I am, is going to be particularly strong. So she was invited um, to feature on on uh, Sports Illustrated, their swimsuited e edition or issue in 2012, and um, that that hit the the stands. And of course, she was elated 
to be offered such a opportunity. But she had this horrible experience immediately upon the magazine coming out. And this sort of feedback that she was getting from people, um, men in particular, of course, was that they looked at her purely as a sexual object to be used. And, and this completely devastated her. And about a month later, um, in an interview, she said, you know, that she felt absolutely terrible about herself for a solid month. These were her words after this coming out. And, and she qualified it by saying that I'm not a toy. I am human. I'm not here to be used. So, you know, that's a natural product, though, of being overly invested in the body and putting that forward as who you are, seeking love, seeking validation, seeking, you know, acceptance, ideas of, of worth or worthiness, all tied completely to the body. This can only lead to unhappiness and tremendous insecurity. And yet we very much live in a time where society is heavily invested in, in this shallowness. And it causes tremendous amounts of suffering and unhappiness for people. So these are just two examples which demonstrate both the consequence and the pain that can come from assuming a false identity. And also, it points to our ability. Um, it, it provides an opportunity for us in these situations to become more aware of the reality that our bodies are not us. I mean, whether it's Stephanie, you know, lying in a burns unit, who is begging her children to still accept her as being their mother. Um, I mean, she's fully aware of the reality that this body is not me. This scarred, burned mess that you're looking at is, is not me. I'm here still inside. And the same thing with Kate Upton, who had invested so much effort in, in the physical appearances and thinking this was going to bring her all the happiness and everything that she desired by seeing people's men's reaction to her, she was able to experience the reality, but you don't care about me. You're only interested in my body. And that's just like a, that's an amazing statement. You don't care about me. You only care about my body. So who is the me? Who am I? And when we think about these, we consider this, it really points so clearly to the need to really understand who, who I actually am. So the things that we went through, and I, I haven't gone into any great detail um, about the scientific reality of how you're not the body. I think that's commonly understood or uh, can be easily appreciated. But there's a huge amount of, of scientific research that points to this reality. But learning that I'm not the body or that I'm not the mind doesn't really answer the question about who I am. It tells me who I am not. But if that's not me, then who, who am I in reality? So in order to be able to answer that question, it's necessary to do it in three parts. So we learn from, from the yoga process and any real scientific exploration that if we want to know about something, we should come to know what is its essence. Fundamentally, what is it made of? What is its essential existence? What is its position, meaning where does it fit in relation to other things within its environment? 
And thirdly, what is the natural function of this thing? What, what purpose does it serve? When we use this framework to self-discovery, it becomes an opening for real self-realization. So the ancient yogis, they applied this, um, this framework to the quest for, for self-discovery for thousands of years. And they, they referred to this as the science of identity the process by which we really try to discover our actual identity. And we do it in an inquiring, in a, in a scientific manner. So one of the processes that they would practice in, in doing this was to engage in this process I mentioned earlier about um, uh, this silent witness meditation. So I'm going to um, put a link with this video, just take a look for where it's posted, to um, a silent witness meditation practice, a guided practice that you may want to experiment with yourself and see if it comes to, to help with some understanding. But once again, as I've stated, this tells you who you are not, but not necessarily who you are. I think if we were to seek a higher understanding, we find it in the great spiritual teachers and the Vedic texts or the yogic texts that lay out some very clear um, information about the reality of our actual identity. So the first one I'd like to just share with you is something that was mentioned um, by Jagat Guru, Siddha Swarupananda, one of my spiritual teachers. And he states, the individual soul or Atma can be compared to a diamond whose value is not appreciated because it's covered over. A beautiful diamond may lie deep underground, covered by layers of dirt and rock. Though it exists in darkness, it is still a diamond. But because it's so covered up, its intrinsic beauty and value go unrealized. So it's a very wonderful um, way of beginning to appreciate uh, the reality of my spiritual identity, my quest to really know who I am. So in, in the Upanishads, uh, they would give some, particularly in Mundaka Upanishad, it gave some actually finer detail about the existence of the living being, the spiritual being, uh, within the gross material body. So they state, the Atma, or self, is atomic in size and can be perceived by perfect intelligence. This atomic soul is floating in five kinds of air, prana, apana, vayana, samana, udhana and is situated within the heart and spreads its influence all over the body of the embodied living entities. When the Atma is purified from the contamination of the five kinds of material air, its spiritual influence is exhibited. So this is quite an astonishing revelation. They speak to the reality that the actual spiritual being, the Atma, resides within the region of the heart, not necessarily within that muscle itself, but within the region of the heart. And they speak about five types of subtle air that permeate um, all material bodies. And that the spiritual being, 
the Atma, is floating within these airs and exerts its influence to all parts of the body via these subtle air or, or energy, this, this prana. And when the Atma becomes, its con the consciousness becomes purified from the contamination of these material coverings, then the true spiritual influence is actually exhibited. So in another verse I'd like to share with you, it's from the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali, from the second Pada, the 25th verse. When ignorance is destroyed, the identification of the self or the Atma with matter or Prakriti ceases. This is liberation. So here we have a definition of, of what was considered the goal of yoga to actually become liberated from the misconception that the body and the mind is who I am and one actually discovers the reality of their spiritual existence and their spiritual identity. So who am I? Well, firstly, we understand that I am, I am not this body. I do not die. I cannot die. I do not die when the body dies. I am eternal and spiritual in nature. That I am the person living temporarily within this body. That I am an eternal spiritual being an eternal spark of the divine or God or a higher spiritual reality. Something that people struggle with because of a, a, an actual lack of knowledge and clarity is that I am not just an energy. I'm not an impersonal force or, or energy. That is not a correct understanding. This is actually incorrect. My being categorized as a person, my personhood does not come from this body. It's not my body that makes me a person. That is an inherent part or characteristic of the Atma this eternal spiritual being. In Sanskrit, the term for this is called Purusha. This is many levels of understanding this, but it literally means a person. And so the Atma is described as a person. Now, there are some schools of, of philosophy that promote the idea, no, you are just pure energy. And the answer is yes, you are pure energy, but that pure energy is personal in nature. And we can see this when we look at the difference between a dead body and a live body. A live body does not have personhood. It doesn't have, uh, I'm sorry, a dead body. It doesn't have personhood. It doesn't have personality. It's just, you know, has become instantly unattractive at the moment of death, when the living being leaves that body. It is the living being that imparts the idea of personhood or, or, or personal existence to the body. The body, by nature, is impersonal. It is just energy. It is just chemicals. But the living being is a person, and it is this living being that creates the illusion that the body is, is the person when it is, is not. It is my eternal right to exist. It is my natural condition to exist in a state of great spiritual wisdom and spiritual love, free from anxiousness and fear. This is 
This is my inherent nature. And to come to that understanding, to experience that reality, is considered the initial state of, of spiritual enlightenment. Um, the result of, of actual spiritual enlightenment uh, may manifest in, in the following way. When the um, when living in a, in a state of, of bodily consciousness, there is actually no possibility of experiencing peace. We will automatically find ourselves in some form of conflict with others based on, on perceived differences. And of course, we've run through some of these before, you know, conflicts between different nations, between the sexes, between, you know, all, infinite variety of differences give rise to, to a wide variety of, of conflicts. As I become enlightened to a higher spiritual reality, the result is manifest in, in the following way. And again, I'll use a, a quote from the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. It speaks about the need for a compassionate vision where all living beings are seen equally. While I am convinced of differences, individuals having differences based on external things, I, I cannot have a com real understanding of equality. That equality can only come about when I become free from these concepts of false identity. So we have this wonderful verse from the Bhagavad Gita. The humble sages, by virtue of true knowledge, see with equal vision a learned and gentle brahmana, a cow, an elephant, a dog, and the lowest of people. So a, a brahmana was one who was considered to be possessed of knowledge, of spiritual knowledge. And that spiritual knowledge is manifest in the most foundational way in seeing the equality of all living beings, regardless of the nature of their bodies. So equality and harmony with others resides in our spiritual identity, not in false bodily identities. In another verse, it states, he is a perfect yogi who, by comparison to his own self, sees the true equality of all beings in both their happiness and their distress. O Arjuna. So this is, is another wonderful verse where a person, a transcendentalist, is inspired to look upon others and to see them with this spiritual wisdom, this, this understanding, how in all their, in their happiness and in their distress, that all living beings are equal and are exactly like me. So in another verse still, it states, such a liberated person is not attracted to the material sense pleasures of this world, but is always in a transcendental state, enjoying the pleasure within. In this way, the self-realized person enjoys unlimited happiness, for he concentrates on the Supreme. 
So one of the things I'd just like to introduce you to here is the nature of the spiritual being is to exist in happiness, in profound and ecstatic spiritual happiness. That is our natural state and condition. And what happens is because of being covered by the bodily conception of life and thinking this to be me, this natural desire that I have for happiness, I seek to fulfill it through the agency of this body. I stimulate the body with different types of, of sensual pleasure, which I find pleasurable and, and stimulating, but it never fulfills me. It never makes me completely happy. And what happens as a result of that, people then just go on this quest of consumption, just consuming, non-stop consuming, 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 in an attempt to find fulfillment. But the reality is, it doesn't matter how much external or bodily experience one has or how much one stimulates the mind. It does not provide us with fulfillment and it does not come anywhere near the actual happiness that we are seeking. That is an entirely spiritual experience. And we will go into some of these things, uh, particularly in the, in the third video that we'll be doing. But I just wanted to mention that here, that this is part of the realization of my spiritual existence, is that this desire for happiness is part of who I actually am in the, in the core of my being. And so the thing that was used, the process that was used to bring about this discovery of my actual being, this experience of who I truly am, is the process of meditation. It is a method by which we can free ourselves from the illusion of thinking that the body is the self, that this body is, is who I am. And through the process of meditation, one can come to experience the reality of my actual spiritual being. And so I'd just like to introduce you very briefly here, just for a few moments, to a very simple meditation. And it is the use of transcendental sound, of spiritual sound. This is called mantra. The effect of spiritual sound is that it clears my consciousness. It cleans away the dust and dirt and debris and cobwebs from my heart and mind. And it awakens my true and eternal spiritual awareness, my true spiritual consciousness. It makes it so I can overcome this illusion of this deep illusion of thinking the body to be the self. So I'd like to just run you through a very brief um, meditation using a transcendental sound mantra. It is the Goranga mantra, Goranga. And if you can just sit back and, and close your eyes and we'll just run through this very quickly. Sit comfortably with your back supported. Close your eyes and bring your awareness to your breath. Draw your mind away from all other thoughts and focus on the feeling of the breath as it enters and leaves your body. Let your breath become slower and deeper. Become aware of how your body is breathing automatically. Observe it in a detached way. Say to yourself, I am watching my body breathe. I am not the legs, the arms, the abdomen, nor am I the body. 
I am an observer, distinct from my body. Feel the inward breath rejuvenating the body and feel the outward breath relaxing and releasing tension from the body. Feel your shoulders relax, releasing tension down through your arms, wrists and hands. Feel the entire body relax with each outward breath. Now, become aware of your mind. Become aware of how you, the self, are distinct from the thinking process. Experience how you can watch the mind as an observer, simply watching the passing flow of thoughts, feelings and images. You don't react. You are separate and detached from the mind. Say to yourself, I make no effort to think about thoughts, but they come automatically. I am watching the thoughts flow through my mind, but I am aloof from them. I am the silent witness of my mind's activities. I am the self, different from the mind and the body. Now that you are more relaxed and your breathing has slowed down, we will begin meditation on the sacred Goranga Mantra. We will break the mantra into four distinct syllables, Go, Ra, Ang, Ga. While inhaling, we will say the sacred mantra, Go, Ra, Ang, Ga within our mind, and when we exhale, we will say it out loud. Stretch it out so the sound takes up the whole exhalation and feel it resonate throughout your whole body. Let's begin. As we inhale, mentally say, Go Ra Anga. Now, out loud as we exhale.
Keep your eyes closed and bring your breathing back to normal. Allow your mind to rest on the beautiful sound of the mantra or join in if you are ready. Go. As you come out of the meditation, just take a moment to listen to some sound within the room or outside or even perhaps my voice and just become a little focused on that and then slowly just open your eyes. So I hope you had a um, pleasant experience and please do um, avail of the resources that we're making available to you um, along with this video uh, the tools that have been provided to teach you um, different types of mantra meditation uh, in order for you to be able to begin to build a daily practice, a daily meditation habit that will truly transform your life and bring you and anyone and everyone an increasing enlightenment about our true spiritual being. So look forward to catching up again with you with the next video. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you so, so much, Sir Acharadas, for sharing your transcendental knowledge to us. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Nitai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan Haribo. Please accept our humble obeisances. Thank you so much. 
All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining and staying online. And now let's move to Sharamai Kirtan from Poland. Let's welcome Nicholas Linder. Haribol Namaste. While waiting for Nicholas, let's call Chaitanya Das. Thank you so much, Chaitanya. And now let's fly to Poland. Let's welcome Nicholas Haribol. Namaste. Haribol. 
あハリボーナマステママコナラスエンドエブリワンハリボーナマステご
Rama Rama Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Radha Radhe Shama Sunda Radha Radhe Shama Sunda Radha Rani Madhava Rindavan Hari Pon Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. 
Krishna, Hari Bo, Krishna, 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 Hari Bo, Krishna, 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 Hari Bo, Krishna, Krishna. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Please take care. Please accept our humble respects. Hi, Bo. Namaste. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. And now let's fly to Russia. Let's welcome Igor. Hi, Bo. Namaste. Hi, Bo. Namaste. Mukunto Desi. Hi, Bo. Prismaha Prasadam. Spasiba. Arito. Mm. 
Ramakanan, Gopalan, Govinda Raman, Madanan, Madanan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hey Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Go Ram Ram, Go Ram Ram, Go Ram Ram. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Gauranga, 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 Hare Hare, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Niti Nanda, Gaur Kari, Chaitanya, Niti Nanda, Gaur Kari, Chaitanya, Niti Nanda, Gaur Kari, Chaitanya, Niti Nanda, Gaur Hare Chaitanya Niti Nanda 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 Gaur Hare Hare Bhav Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Please Haribo. take care. Haribo. Please accept our humble respects. Haribo. Haribo. Namaste. Haribo. And now let's fly to UK. Let's welcome Sir Aldi. Haribo. Namaste. Haribo. Krishna 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 Krishna
Paramahamsa iti namine Namma o Vishnu Padaya Krishna Padaya Bhutale Namata Sita Sarvanata Namata Sita Sarvanata Namo Sinasparupa Nanda Paramahamsa Namine Gura Karuna Sparupaya Radha Krishna Pistayate Namusthira Sarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gura Karuna Sarupaya Radha Krishna Pistayate Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale, Srimate Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Ichinamine, Namao Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pristaya Bhutale, Srimate Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Ichinamine, Namaste Sarasvati Deva, Goravani Pricharine, Nirvisesha Sunyavadi, Pastacha de Shatarine, Namas de Sarasati Deva, Goravadi Pricharine, Nirvisesha Sunyavadi, Pastacha de Shatarine, Namas de Sarasati Deva, Goravani Pricharine, Nirvisesha Sunyavadi, Pastacha de Satarine, Namus de Sarvati Deva, Goravani Pricharine, Nirvis de Sunya Vati, Pastacha de Satarine, Namu Mahavadanya, Krishna Prema Predayate, Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namine, Gorat Pise. Namo Brahmanya Devaya, O Brahmana Hitaya Cha, Jagat Hitaya Krishnaya, Govindaya Namo Nama, Namo Brahmanya Devaya, Subhrahmana Hitaya Cha, Sakya Hitaya Krishna, Subhyaya Krishna. Madhya Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Sri Advaita Gadatha, Sri Vasadhi Gorvakta Vrinda. Madhya Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Radha Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Shri Advaita Gadatha, Shri Vasadi Gorbhakta Vrinda. Radha Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Radha Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Shri Advaita Gadatha, Shri Vasadi Dorbhakta Vrinda. Radha Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Radha Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Shri Advaita Gadatha, Shri Vasadi Gorbhakta Vrita. Radha Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Ia Govinda Rama, Madana Mutana, 
Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. 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 Gopala Govita 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 Rama, Madana Mohana. Gopala Madana Mohana. Gopala Govita Madana Mohana Murari. Madana Mohana Murari, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Kupala Govinda Rama, Madana Mopana. 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 Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Jaya Radin Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindava, Sri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Mata. Jaya Radin Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindava, Madana Mata. Jaya Jaya Shira Prabhupat, Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya Shira Prabhupat, Jaya Jaya Guru Dev. Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Shira Prabhupat, Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Shira Prabhupat, Jaya Shira Prabhupat, Paramahamsa Prabhupada, Jaya Siddhas Parupananda, Paramahamsa Prabhupada, Jaya Siddhas Parupananda, Paramahamsa Prabhupada, Jaya Siddhas Parupananda, Paramahamsa Prabhupada, Namaste Narasimhaya, Prahlada Hlada Dayane, Hiranya Kashipo Vakshaha, Sila Tankarakalaya, Itoni Shingo Paratoni Shingo, Yatoni Toya Tatoni Shingo, Bahani Shingo Hidaya Shingo, Sikra Vadisarana, Tatodaya, Tava Kama Kama Lavare Nakam Abhuta Shinga Dharavita Jiranya Kachi Uttano Brita Kesha Madrita Narahari Rupa Jaya Jagadisha Hare Jaya Jagadisha Hare Jaya Jagadisha Hare Jaya Lord Mishim Hare Jaya Prahlad Maharaj Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Nita Igor, Jaya Sankirtan, Hari Bol, thank you very much. Hari Bol, thank you so much, Sir Aldi and friend, for coming. Always grateful and happy to see you, sharing our sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Guru Dev, Jai Jai Nita Igor, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Thank you so much, Sir Aldi. Please take care and please accept. Our humble obeisances, our humble namaste. Haribo. Haribo.
Hi, Ibo. Hi, Ibo. And now let's fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome Sir Ambed, Mamuli, and Vishnu Das. Hi, Ibo. Namaste. Hi, Ibo. Hi, Ibo. Namaste. Hi, Ibo. Hi, Ibo. Namaste, Sir Aldi. Thank you for the chant. Namaste. <laughs> <coughs> Chaitanya Charitamrita Pastors of the Chaitanya.
Thank you so much. Please take care and please accept our humble obeisances. Haribo, namaste. Haribo. And now let's fly to Poland. Let's welcome my dear Archana Dasi and Sir Robert. Haribo, namaste. Haribo. Namaste. Namaste, my Mukunda Dasi. Namaste, Arti. Namaste, Amber. Namaste, Vishnu Das. Thank you for your kirtan. Namaste to the Bhakta family. Namaste to all devotees. Hari Paul. Peace out to all humble obeisances and respects. Hari Paul. Namaste. Thank you so much. Shri 
Kaja Harernava, Kaja Sankirtana, Kita Goranga, Kita Ishna Prabhupad Kita Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo. Thank you so much, my dear Archana Dasi and Sir Robert, for coming. Always grateful and happy to see you sharing our sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Guru Dev. Jai Jai Nitai Gaur Jai Jai Sankirtan Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Please take care. Bhaj no jinkuyeme. Namaste dear Narayam Dasi. Please accept our humble obeisances and respects. Hari Bo. Nice to see you. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. So happy to see you. Thank you so much. Please take care too and please accept our humble obeisances. Hari Bo Namaste. Thank you so much. Hari Bo Namaste. Hari Bo Hari Bo. And now, let's welcome our lovely co host, Mama Rise on Narayan Dasi. Hari Bo Namaste. Hari Bo Namaste. Thank you so much. The opportunity, Mukunda Dasi, and to all the devotees. Thank you so much for joining us. Please accept my humble obeisances and please join with me. Let's chant Hari Bo. Krishna, Nahi Anya, Hare. 
opportunity to deliver the holy names all glories to shiguru and shiguranga jaya jaya sankirtan hari krishna hari bol thank you so much please accept our humble obeisances and thank you so much everyone for joining on our congregational kirtan hari thank krishna you. hari bol beautiful narayan dasi thank you for sharing such a divine chanting hari bol namaste so much our dear rose for always being with us from my place let's fly to poland Let's welcome our dear couple to chant with us, our dear Renya and Sir Jacek. So nice to see you and thank you so much for joining. Please accept our humble obeisances. Haribol Namaste. Haribol. Haribol Namaste. Haribol. Haribol. Beautiful Renya Jacek. Wonderful to see you. Haribol Namaste. I namaste, dear Rose. Very happy to hear you. Hari <laughs> namaste to everyone. Thank you so much for your kind invitation. And please accept our humble respects and please accept this prasadam red orange. Haribo. Haribo. 
Gary Paul Bara. For sharing your prasada. We humbly Hi. accept it. Namaste, Harry Paul. Uh, thank you so much. Jai Guru. Jai Guru. Namam Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutaya, Shimata Siddhas Harmananda, Paramaham Saiti Namina. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Gopala Govinda Rama Matana Mohana Gopana Govinda Rama Matana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Matana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Matana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Krishna, 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 Krishna,
Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nanda, Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrindam Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Anichi Nanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrindam Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Jaya Shila Prabhupada Jaya Jaya Guru Jaya Shila Prabhupada Jaya Jaya Guru Jaya Shila Prabhupada Jaya Jaya Guru Jaya Shila Prabhupada Jaya Sita Svarnamdanda Aramahansa Prabhupada Jaya Sita Svarnamdanda Thank you so much for a very sweet and beautiful chanting you shared to us. Hari Bol, please accept our humble ways and says. And hope you. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Namaste. Thank you so much. All right, from our dear friend and our dear couple of Poland, let's straight ahead to our next guest who chanted us from Europe. Let's welcome our dear Radadasi. Hari Bol, Namaste, Radadasi. Hari Bol.
Haribol, thank you so much, our dear Radadasi, for a very delightfully sweet chanting you shared to us. All glories to Shiguru and Shiguranga. Jai Jai Sankirtan. Hare Krishna, Haribol. Please accept our humble obeisances and hope wishing you well and safe. Haribol, namaste. All right, from Europe, let's fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome our dear admin, the Gunabata devotees, and to all our friends in the Gunabata. Stay tuned, everyone. Please accept our humble obeisances. Namaste.
Thank you for a very terrifying rock out, Kirtan. Jason Kirtan. And thank you so much to all our friends in Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, BK, Zoom, Zymo, Us. And to all our friends and guests, devotees, the Zon Desires, Mindanao, and friends and devotees worldwide. Thank you for joining us. Please accept our humble obeisances and wishing you well all safe and happy. Haribol Namaste. Thank you so much. Haribol Namaste. Haribol Namaste. Let's welcome our dear Ivona and Andre. Thank you so much for joining. Haribol Namaste. Haribo. Haribo namaste, Narayan Dasi. Haribo namaste, everybody. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for this great, wonderful opportunity to chant holy names together. All glories to Guru Dev. All glories to Nitai Goranga. All glories to Sri Krishna. Hari Haribo. Namaste. Haribo. Thank you so much. Hari Haribo. Namaste, Andre. Uh, unfortunately, Ivana won't be able to join today. So, but we have Krishna. Hi, well, thank you so much, Andre, for coming. Please accept our humble obeisances and Hari Bol to Ivana. Namaste. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Nima Desi Dasarupanta Paramahasa Nishinami Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shimate Sidas Varupanda Paramahapsaitina Mine Namasidas Varupananda Paramahamsa Mine Gorakaruna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Vestayate Namasida Svarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gorakaruna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Vestayate Nama Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vestaya Utale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Nama Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vestaya Utale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Deva Goravani Prechaine Nirvisesha Sunyavani Pastachita Deshataine Namaste Saraswati Deva Goravani Prechaine Nirvisesha Sunyavani Pastacha Deshatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pretayate Krishnaya Krishna Chitanya Namine Purati Senama Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pretayate Krishnaya Krishna Chitanya Namine Pura Trisanama Namo Brahmanya Devaya O Brahmana Itaya Cha Jagatitaya Krishnaya Govindaya 
Namo Nama, Namo Brahma, Yade Vaya, Go Brahma, Gita Yacha, Yagatita, Yakrishna, Govindaya, Namo Nama. Bhante Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatka Shri Vasadivur Bhakta Vinda Bhante Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatka Shiva Sadhidur Bhakta Vrinda Bhaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadat Gahar Shiva Sadhidur Bhakta Vrinda Bhaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatka Shri Vasadi Purvakta Vinda Hari Go Nitai Go Nitai Go Hari Go Hari Go Nitai Go Nitai Go Hari Go Hari Go Nitai Go Nitai Gaur, Hari Gaur, Hari Gaur, Nitai Gaur, Nitai Gaur, Hari Gaur. Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Eva Keva Mokta, Nasti Eva, Nasti Eva, Nasti Eva, Nasti Eva, Nasti Eva, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Keva Ho, Kalo Nasteva Nasti Eva, Daji Ranyata, Nichi Nanda, Nichi Nanda, Nichi Nanda, Hare Go, Chaitanya, Chaitanya, Chaitanya Hari Go Nichinanda 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 Hari Go Chaitanya 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 Hari Go Nichinanda 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 Hari Go Chaitanya, 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 Hari Go. Jaya Jaya, Shri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya, Gura Bhakta Vinda. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gura Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gura Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gura Bhakta Vinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nakhriyaya 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 
Radharani Shyama Sundar, Radharani Madhava, Vrindavanai Bo, Radharani Shyama Sundar, Radharani Shyama Sundar, Radharani Madhava, Vrindavanai Bo, Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinatha, Madana Mohana. Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinatha, Madana Mohana. Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinatha, Madana Mohana. Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinatha, Madana Mohana. Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindeva, Shri Govinda Gopinatha, Madana Mohana. Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Giri Govardhan, Karinti Yamuna Jaya, Jaya Mahava. Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Iri Govardhan, Karinti Yamuna Jaya, Jaya Mahava. Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Giri Govardhan, Karinti Yamuna Jaya, Jaya Mahava. Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Giri Govardhan, Karindiya Muna Jaya, Jaya Mahama. Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Iri Govardhan, Karindiya Muna Jaya, Jaya Mahama. Narada Kunda, Iri Govardhan, Karindiya Muna Jaya, Jaya Mahama, Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Iri Govada, Karindiya Muna Jaya, Jaya Mahama, Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Iri Govada, Karindiya Muna Jaya, Jaya Mahama, Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Iri Govada, Kari Diya Mucha Jaya, Jaya Mahavan. Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Iri Govada, Kari Diya Mucha Jaya, Jaya Mahavan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 
Thank you so much, our dear Andre, for chanting the holy name so admirably sweet. All glories to Sri Guru Shri Guranga Chai Chai Sankitan. Hare Krishna, Hare Bol. Please accept our humble obeisances and Hare Bol to Ivona. Hope you so your Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much. Namaste. All right, from our dear friend of Ukraine, Andre and Ivona, let's straight ahead to our next guest to chant with us. Let's fly back to the Philippines and let's welcome our dear Sir Chatur Bujadas, Pardeep and Indian devotees. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Please accept our humble obeisances. Namaste. Hi. Hi. Oh, <laughs> 
Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Bolani, Hare Bolani, Hare Bolani, Hare Bolani. Hari bol, 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 hari Hari bol, 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 Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. Hari bol, 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 hari bol
for deep and Indian devotees for a very blissful chanting you shared to us. All glories to Shiguru and Shiguranga. Jai Jai Sankirtan. Hare Krishna, Hare Bol. And please accept our humble obeisances. Thank you very much. Please, sir. Yeah. Keep safe and keep well. Thank you so much for coming. All right, Hare Krishna, then. Hare Bol. Thank you very much. Herbal Namaste for sharing your uh, chant, divine chanting. Thank you. Herbal Namaste. Thank you so much, Rose. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining on from uh, Philippines, our dear Sir Chatur Bujadas, for the Indian devotees, let's fly to Kazakhstan. Let's welcome our dear Reliam. Haribo, namaste. Please accept our Haribol. and thank you so much for coming. I'm very Haribo, Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Sita Swarupananda Paramatam Saiti Namine Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Sita Svarupananda Paramahamsa Iti Namine Namo Sita Svarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Prestayate Namo Sita Svarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Prestayate Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vidanta Swami Niti Namine Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vidanta Om 
más que esa Rasvati deva Goravani pracharine Nirvishesha Shunya vadi Pashte chade shetarine Namaste Sarasvati deva Goravani pracharine Nirvishesha Shunya vadi Pashte chade shetarine Namo Maka Vadanaya Krishna Prema Pradaya Te Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Navine Gora Krishna Namo Namo Maka Vadanaya Krishna Prema Pradaya Te Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Navine Gora Krishna Namo Namo Brahmanya Deva Gobrahmana Hitaya Chya Draga Hitaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo 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 Brahmanya Devaya Gobrahmana Hitaya Chya Draga Hitaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namo Vajra Sri Krishna Chitanya Prabhu Niti Shri Adwaita Gagata Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Vajra Shri Krishna Chitanya Prabhu Niti Nanda Shri Adwaita Gagata Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Vajra Shri Krishna Chitanya Prabhu Niti Nanda Shri Adwaita Gagata Shri Vasati Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Vajra Shri Krishna Chitanya Prabhu Niti Nanda Shri Advaita Gagata Shri Vasati Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 
krishna krishna krishna hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare jay jay Shiva Prabhupa Jaya Jaya Guru De Jaya Shiva Prabhupa Jaya Jaya Guru De Jaya Shiva Prabhupa Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Krishna Thank you so much Jaya Jaya Sankirtana Jaya Jaya Krishna Jaya Jaya Guru De Aribo. Aribo. Thank you so much, my dear Relia, for chanting the holy name. So delightfully beautiful. All glories to Shigure and Shiguranga. Jai Jai Sankitan. Hari Krishna. Hari Bol. Thank you so much. Wishing you well and safe. Thank you. Hari Bol. Namaste. All right. From our dear friend of uh, Kazakhstan, our dear Relia, let's straight ahead to our next guest to chat with us from Canada. Let's welcome our dear Kati. Haribol Namaste, Kati. So happy. Haribol Namaste, Nariandasi. Haribol Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for inviting Grand me. Grand Rising, Kati. Wonderful to see you. Haribol Namaste. Haribol Namaste, dear yes. Rose. Hare Krishna. Please accept our humble obeisances. Namaste. Please accept mine. Please accept mine. Haribol. Thank you. Namaste. Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya, Bhutale Shimati Siddha, Swarupananda, Parmahansa, Itina. I 
Sorry, I went one minute ahead. <laughs> Krishna, Krishna. Aribol, my dear Fati, thank you so much for a very amazing sweet chanting you shared to us. All glories to Figuru and Chiguranga Jai Jai Sampitan. Hare Krishna, Haribol. Keep safe and keep well. Hare Krishna, Haribol. Thank you so much, Narayan Desi. Yeah. Krishna, Krishna. Jai yeah. Sankitan. Haribol. Haribol. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch. VK Zoom Simulcast, and to all our guests and friends, devotees around the world, from Shara Mai Kirtan, up next is a Share a Gems of Wisdom with the God Guru Speaks Special. The title of the video lecture is, Who Are You? What is Life? Chai Om Vishnupad Paramhamsa, Paribrak Chai Jaya Asutera Sach, Shishima Jagat, Guru Siddha Swarup Ananda Prabhupad Ki Chai. Nama O Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Vishtaya Bhutale, Srimate Siddhas Varup Ananda Paramahal Saipinamini, Bajasri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Basadi Guru Bhakta Brindam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you so much, Srila Prabhupada. Please accept my humble obeisance at your lotus feet. Haribol Namaste. Please listen to this, everyone. Thank you. A materialist holds to the concept, the theory, that there's only one energy that exists, and that is matter. And so when he comes to questions such as what is consciousness, what is awareness, and what is life, he concludes that it also must have some chemical uh, basis. It's either chemical in substance or somehow it's an offspring of the complex chemical arrangements that are there in the brain and in the rest of the body. So basically, in materialistic civilization, we've come to the conclusion that life itself is really nothing more than this uh, offspring of matter. We are taught from the very first science classes that we have that life began so many millions and millions, hundreds and millions of years ago in some uh, cosmic soup where these different material elements existed in a very uh, simple form that gradually these simple material elements, these simple chemicals, gradually for some reason unknown, although it denies the uh, law of uh, thermodynamics that the uh, matter by itself tends to become less complex. Somehow matter went against this law, second law of thermodynamics and became increasingly more complicated in structure. And gradually as it became more complicated in structure, it finally came to the point where it started to wiggle the one cell organism was accidentally created out of this combination of non-living elements. Somehow life started by accident 
from the combination of chemicals. Somehow or other, they're saying that somehow or other, life sprung from this cosmic soup where there was no life before. That material elements were present and somehow these material elements combined and created life. And from this first living organism, ah, all living organisms have come increasing gradually in complexity of our bodily structures. So this is the foundation of our modern civilization. This is the so-called scientific foundation of our modern civilization. But we have a couple questions that we want to put forward here. As we're saying, we can't go into this in uh, as much depth as we would like to. But we would like to pose a couple questions here that you might want to consider. And it is this. The first thing that nobody asks, unfortunately, when we're told that life began by this complex combination of molecules, one thing that we've uh, never asked is the question, my dear, Professor, my dear teacher, what exactly do you mean by the word life? The fact is, the materialist has never defined life. He has no definition for the word life, and he actually has no definition, therefore, for the word death. He doesn't know what life is. If you ask the materialist, what is life? You can tell me what water is. Yeah, there's an example here that if you look in the web, if you look in a dictionary like Webster's Dictionary or something, you'll find a definition of water. And you'll find it, is, uh, it reads as follows. Water is the colorless, transparent liquid occurring on earth as rivers, lakes, oceans, etc. And falling from the clouds is rain. It is chemically composed uh, it is chemically a compound of hydrogen and oxygen, H2O, and under, and under laboratory conditions, it freezes hard, forming ice at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and boils, forming steam at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, etc. And here's how they define life. That property of plants and animals, which makes it possible for them to take in food, get energy from the food, grow, adapt themselves to their surroundings, and produce, reproduce their own kind. It is the quality that distinguishes a living animal or plant from inorganic matter or dead organism. They've never defined it. Supposedly, life is chemical in essence. Now, if life is either chemical in essence, or if it is a creation of chemicals, which means it must be of some chemical essence. If they're saying that only chemicals, only matter exists, then life should have some material composition. If it doesn't, then it doesn't exist by their definition since only matter exists. Yet you will not find in any dictionary a chemical definition. You'll not find a definition of life you'll only find them describing that life is that property of plants and animals which makes it different. This is not a definition. It's like it's saying life is that property of living things, plants and animals, huh? So you're saying life is that property of life. Life is that property which living things have. What is it? All they can do is beat around the bush. They cannot answer the question, what is life? Of course, some of them admit this. There's an interesting statement here. This is found in a uh, textbook which is used in universities. How then can we define life? To attempt an easy definition is to enter a quagmire from which many a writer has emerged 
considerably more muddy than when he began. Some try to define it in terms of function, pointing to such supposedly unique characteristics as growth, reproduction, or irritability. But they inevitably find themselves apologizing for the many exceptions that appear to cross the fuzzy boundary between the worlds of the living and the non-living. Perhaps it might be better to simply admit that com complex concepts like life and love do not lend themselves to neat and orderly textbook definitions. But they don't. They say, still, since we've got to write this textbook and make believe we know what life is, still, in keeping with our automobile analogy and the mechanistic view of life, we can regard a living organism in terms of complex chemical reactions taking place at a specific level of organization of matter. In other words, we don't know what life is, but make, let's, make believe it's, let's make believe we know what it is so that we can continue with our discussion about it uh, being uh, analogous to an automobile, a machine. The mechanists really see us as nothing more than machines. That there's really nothing different between an automobile and a human being, except that a human being is a more complex machine than an automobile. That's the only difference a materialist sees. He does not see life as even an element, an existing thing, a reality in itself. All he sees life is is that it's something that he doesn't understand, but which he promises and hopes that someday in the future he'll be able to give some chemical explanation for. In the meantime, they tell us that they already know what it is. I mean, if somebody tells me that life was created a certain amount of time ago, some billions and millions and millions and millions of years ago by the combination of chemicals, if they tell me this, then I take it for granted that they know what it is that was created. If somebody says that life was created uh, 10,000 million years ago, then I take it for granted that they know what they're talking about when they use the word life. They know what they mean when they say something was created. Now, when anybody says anything, if they don't understand the words in the sentence that they're using, if they don't know the meaning of the words in their sentence, then what meaning does a sentence have? What value does it have? If a person, therefore, says life was created uh, 10,000 million years ago, but they don't have a definition for the word life, then what is the value of their sentence? What is the value of it? It's useless. It's meaningless. So the first problem that the materialist has in his attempt to explain the creation of life from chemicals is that he doesn't know what life is. He can't define life. So, this is a point which, unfortunately, very few people uh, bring up. There's a lot of discussion about the mathematical improbabilities of life being created from the chance combination of chemicals. There's a lot of discussion. Those who are not in agreement with the materialists usually base their arguments on this point, that mathematically it's extremely improbable that life could be uh, created from matter. It's improbable that life could be created from matter uh, in only those, uh, that short a period of time or something. But our point is a little different here. It's very different. Our point is that there's absolutely no evidence Number one, that the material scientists even know what life is, what to speak of being able, uh, they're being able to claim that it's been created by matter in the past or that they will create it uh, in their laboratories in the future. And secondly, since there is no evidence whatsoever that life can be or ever has been 
created from the combination of chemicals, then it's not correct to say it's improbable that life would ever be so created from chemicals. It's not correct to say that. To say that something's improbable means that it's, it, it is possible. I can say that it's improbable for something to happen only if it's possible for that to happen. But since there's no evidence, there's no evidence whatsoever that life is created from chemicals, it's wrong to say it's improbable. It has to be said that it's impossible. There is no evidence that life has ever been created from matter, either in the laboratories of the scientists who have all the chemicals in the world at their disposal. They have all the chemicals available. Why can't they create life in their test tubes? Why can't they create life? They've not created life. There's no evidence anywhere that life comes from matter. So if there's no evidence that life can come from matter or that life comes from matter, then there's no question of it being improbable. It's not even possible. There's no evidence that it's even possible. There's no use splitting hairs over whether or not it's improbable that it happened in the past by accident. So this is something you might want to consider. Now what we would like to put forward here is the point of view that, in fact, life is a distinct element from matter, that life is itself an energy that's completely different from matter. It is not an offspring of matter. Life is life. Matter is matter. And these two distinct energies in the material world as we see it sometimes interact, and sometimes they do not. From this point of view, a life particle, a particle of life, sometimes called a spirit soul, or the atma, or a soul, this spark of life, this life particle we are proposing is in fact a distinct energy, and that there are innumerable such life particles. There are countless numbers of such life particles, and that the characteristic of this life particle is life, existence, eternality, and awareness. These are the natural uh, characteristics of the life particle or spirit soul. Just like you can't speak of uh, water without also referring to wetness. You can't have water without wetness. Similarly, when we speak of the life particle or the spirit soul, we cannot separate it from awareness. We cannot separate it from existence and uh, consciousness. So, in this world, what we are seeing before us in our daily lives. What we see with our eyes is matter. Because our material eyes are made of matter, we see matter. But we see two types of matter, not different kinds of matter, but we see matter under two different circumstances. In the first circumstance, we're looking at matter, which is in the presence of a life particle. In other words, there's a living entity within that material energy. And sometimes we see matter when there is no living entity contained uh, or within that material energy, within that matter. For example, you're looking at me, okay? You see my material body, but you also are seeing life. In fact, there is life and matter combined. Now, over here on the floor, or the pot, plant, or part of the seat, or the back of the chair, that's matter by itself. Now, this back of this chair here used to be matter in the presence of life. It's called wood. It used to be called a tree. 
But do you notice, although there are flowers here, they're not growing. If you, you see, we don't want our television audience to think these are flowers growing out of here. There's nothing growing here. It used to grow. There's certain characteristics, in other words, of life in the presence of matter, uh, life, uh, or matter in the presence of life and matter by itself. When matter is by itself, it doesn't grow. There's no reproduction. Uh, the uh, uh, chemical compounds uh, break down to a uh, thermodynamically more stable state. These are certain characteristics. See? That's why you, you don't find this tree growing anymore, because there's no life present. Now, if I, the living being, the, the spark of life, the conscious self within this body, leave this body, then all that will be here is the matter. And immediately, the body will start to decom decompose. Uh, I won't be talking to you anymore. And you'll all go, my God, what happened? Okay. I mean, what would you do right now if I left my body right here? Wow, big deal, right? It'd be in the paper in the morning. It's so important. Right? Or if one of you guys left your body right now. You, we, it couldn't walk out on its own. You see, we'd have to carry it out. Okay. Hey, somebody left their body here. What are we going to do with it? Okay? What are we going to do? It's a big deal. Call, the, call that white thing that has a red thing on the top, the ambulance. Every time one of these bodies falls over and the guy leaves it or something, they call those things and they cart it off. Okay? There's a great difference between a body with the particle of life present and a body without that particle of life present. Now, our point at the Science of Identity Institute, our point is not a new one. It's an ancient point. And it is this, that the self, the person, going back to our question of who are we, we're not, in fact, this material body, but we are, in fact, the life particle. We are each an individual, independent life particle. Uh, and we are temporarily in a material vehicle. We are temporarily using matter. And as long as we are present in matter, then uh, there are certain symptoms manifested through that matter. But you know that this matter that right now is part of my hand or my face, it wasn't here, you know, a year ago. It was making up something else. You know, I ate food. It's called metabolism. This is one of the other important characteristics of matter in the presence of a living being, matter in the presence of a life particle. Metabolism. There's this constant interchange of matter. But it's just dead matter unless life, the life particle is there. The body is just dead matter. The life particle is present, and therefore it's manifesting uh, the symptoms of the presence of life. So this is the most important point to understand, especially for those students, those of you students who are involved in environmental studies. One thing you should notice is the difference between the living and the non-living. You have to understand this if you're going to understand uh, how to care for the environment. Now, the materialist, the materialist believes and teaches that we are just matter that I am matter, I am the body. And some materialists, as we've discussed before, they say we don't really exist. They say that life and consciousness, the self and the, the belief that I exist and the awareness that I exist is really just an illusion. Francis Crick, I'm sure you all know Francis Crick since you all study genetics and 
so on at this university. You must know of the Nobel Prize winner, Mr. Crick. He teaches that, in fact, that experience that we have, that each of us has, that I exist, is an illusion. It's really just an illusion. He says that there's perception, but there's no perceiver. He says there is no self within the body perceiving. Anyone who denies his own existence and denies the existence of others, claiming that it's simply an illusion created by the complex uh, brain structure, that the spontaneous firing of uh, uh, brain cells somehow creates this illusion that I exist. That person must be considered to be uh, the greatest fool. If such a person as Mr. Crick is asked the question, who is in the illusion that he exists? As Crick says, he says, it's too bad. We, it's very hard not to fall into this illusion. But there must be some good reason why we have it. But he doesn't ask the question, who has the illusion that he exists? Who is deluded? In other words, whenever you talk about somebody having an illusion, then you're talking about some entity who exists who must be getting deluded or who must be deluded. If there is no one existing, then who could be having the illusion? Those who try to deny their own existence or deny the existence of other selves, uh, they're really in an uh, impossible position. But how did they get there? They got there because they believe, they declare, they teach that there's only one energy, matter. And they cannot explain self-awareness, they cannot explain the existence of the self from their position of teaching, believing that there's only one energy, matter. In other words, they have no material explanation for the self. Chayon Vishnupad Paramahamsa, Karibrak Charja Asotera Satch, Shishi Majjagat Guru Siddha Surup Ananda Prabhupad Kichai, Nama Om Vishnupadaya, Krishna Prishtaya Butali, Shimate Siddha Surup Ananda Paramahamsa Ikinamini. Bajasri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Guru Bhakta Brindam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you so much, Shri Prabhupada, for this knowledge of life. Please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet. Hare Bol Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in and stay tuned to our congregation of Kirtan program. From the lecture of Srila Prabhupada, the Share Gems of Wisdom, we will continue our program, the Shira Mike Kirtan from Ukraine. Let's welcome our dear Rasakina Das. Haribo, namaste. Haribo. Haribo. Haribo, Haribo namaste. Haribo. Haribo. Krishna Prasthaya Te 
Fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome Sir June and Nature Ramadasi. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Namaste. Thank you. 
Haribo. Haribo. Thank you so much. Haribo. Namaste. Thank you, Sir Ramadasi, for coming. Always grateful and happy to see you. Sharing our sweet and beautiful chanting. Chai Chai Gurdiv. Chai Chai Nitai Kor. Chai Chai Sankirtan. Haribo. Haribo. Maraming salamat po. Please take care and please accept our humble respects. Haribo. Haribo. And now let's fly to Mexico. Let's welcome back the Yogi Durango. Haribol, namaste. Haribol! Haribol, namaste. Haribol! Gora Karuna 
Mohana Haribo Nitaigo Nitaigo Haribo Haribo Hari go, Hari go, Hari go, Hari go, Hari go. Jaya Jaya 
श्री अद्वैत श्री वसुदे गो बाग बिंदा हरि बो नीताय गो नीताय गो हरि बो हरि बो नीताय गो नीताय गो हरि बो हरि बो नीताय गो नीताय गो हरि बो हरि बो नीताय गो Nitaigo Haribo Nichinanda Chaitanya Nichinanda Gorahari Nichinanda Chaitanya Nichinanda Gorahari Hari Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana 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 Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan Sri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan Sri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Jai Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan Sri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Jai Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan Sri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govardhan Kalindi Jamuna Jaya Jaya Mahaba Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govardhan Kalindi Jamuna Jaya Jaya Madhava Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana 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 Go 
Gopala Gopindu Rama Bagana Mohana Gopala Gopindu Rama Bagana Mohana Gopala Gopindu Rama Bagana Mohana Hari Bom Nitai Go Nitai Go Hari Go Hari Bom
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, De Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, De Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 hey Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Hari Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Moana. 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 Gopala Govinda Rama. Madana Moana, Gopala Govinda Rama, 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 Madana Moana. 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Gopala Gopinda Rama Madana Mohana 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 Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Brindaban Sri Gopinda Gopinanda Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Brindaban Sri Gopinda Gopinanda Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Brindaban Sri Govinda Gopinanda Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Brindaban Sri Govinda Gopinanda Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Brindaban Sri Govinda Govinata Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Brindaban Sri Govinda Govinata Madana Mohana Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Jai Jai Shiva Prabhu Pa, Jai Jai Guru Dev. Jai Jai Shiva Prabhu Pa, Jai Jai Guru Dev. Jai Jai Shiva Prabhu Pa, Jai Jai Anita Gaur. Jai Jai Shiva Prabhu Pa, Jai Jai Anita Gaur. Thank you so much, Prasal, for coming. Always grateful and happy to see you, sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Nitai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Haribo! 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 Thank you! Maraming salamat po, Sir Sal. Please take care and please accept our humble respects. Haribo! Namaste! Haribo! 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 And now, let's fly to Romania.
जय गुरुदेव जय श्री रामोपाल जय जय Grateful and happy to see you sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Chai Chai Kurde, Chai Chai Ni Chai Kor Chai Chai San Kirtan Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Thank you very much for you and inviting us. We are always happy to be here. Thank you. Oh Hari Bo, thank you so much. Please take care and please accept our humble respects. Hari Bo Namaste. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Thank you so much. Maraming 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 salamat po sa lahat na nag-join sa ating ngayong gabi. Maraming salamat po kay Ate Susan, Ate Emma, Ate Marisa. Thank you so much. Hari po! Hari po! Hari po! Hari po! Hari po! Hari po! To Kuya Joel, thank you so much. Hari po! Hari po! Hari po! Hari po! To add your rose, maraming salamat po. Hari po. Hari po. Hari po, gorgeous. Thank you very much. Hari po, namaste. Hari po, thank you so much. Maraming salamat po, Sir Sal. Hari po. Hari po. Hari po. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat po, Sir Sal. Hari po. Hari po, Sal. Hari po, namaste. Hari po, thank you so much. Hari po, thank you so much. Hari po, Hari po. Thank you so much. Hari po. Hairball. Hairball. Back to you, Gagarango. Maraming salamat po, Harry Paul. 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 Harry Pa